you have heard from many different sources how much the Tesla stock will be worth five years from now. There is no end to speculation in this regard. From unknown stock analysts to noteworthy investors and hedge fund managers, everyone seems to have an amount in mind. Thus, we estimate that a share of Tesla will be worth from $900 to $2,600 in 2030. Instead of becoming a part of the speculation, we will pinpoint Tesla's share price in 2030 based on real math. Tesla has a market cap of $843 billion and a P.E. or price-to-earnings ratio of 74. It has a net cash of $21 billion in hand. In the last 12 months, it had an operating cash flow of $14 billion. Of that, as much as $3.6 billion was free after the capital expenditure of $11 billion. For this video, we will use Tesla's P.E. ratio as the reference point. Its current P.E. ratio is lower than its three-year average P.E. of 90. It is also lower than its five-year average P.E. of 131. Its forward P.E. ratio, 79, is lower than its five-year average P.E. ratio of 131. The P.E. ratio is determined by dividing the current share price by the earnings per share or EPS for the latest reporting period. Tesla's shares surged 22% after strong earnings and outlook recently. We have two points to remember. Number one, we accept that Tesla will continue to grow at the average rate of its growth in the last 10 years, if not more. Every Tesla investor understands that the FSD or full self-driving technology which is progressing towards full autonomy, will contribute to its revenue. Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot will find new markets in manufacturing, healthcare, and home services. Robo-taxis, the autonomous ride-sharing network, could be a major source of revenue for Tesla in the coming years. Tesla's Powerwall and commercial-scale batteries could be in significant demand in the renewable energy market in the future. Number two, based on Tesla's average growth as the foundation, we will see what its stock price becomes when we calculate the P.E. ratios that some of the popular stocks have today. The stocks we will consider Tesla against include AMD, NVIDIA, Broadcom, Uber, Salesforce, Microsoft, CrowdStrike, Datadog, and Palantir. We know these stocks today. We trade them and invest in them for short and long-term financial benefits. We know which one is hyped, which is a real gem, which is a market leader, and which has less future than others. But we know there is no complete loser among them. There is no Intel or Fiverr among them. They are thriving in their own way, but always with our money. This experiment will be as close as it can be if Tesla had its future earnings growth today based on its future growth. Let's begin with Microsoft. Microsoft has a P.E. ratio of 36 today. At that rate, Tesla will be worth $494 in 2030, provided Tesla continues growing at the rate of its average growth in the last 10 years. Next. We have Salesforce, the cloud-based AI and software company. Salesforce has a P.E. ratio of 50. At that rate, Tesla's fair value in 2030 will be $686 per share. Our next pick is NVIDIA. NVIDIA has a laudable P.E. ratio of 66 currently. At that rate, Tesla shares will be traded at $905 in 2030. Then we have the ride-hailing company, Uber. Uber is trading at $78 currently. It has a P.E. ratio of 87. If Tesla has a P.E. ratio of 87 in 2030, it will be traded at $1,200 per share. 
That will be over 350% growth from Tesla's market price today. Then we have Broadcom, a semiconductor market giant with an $808 billion market cap, which is the closest market cap to Tesla's on this list. Broadcom has a P.E. ratio of 139. That is almost double Tesla's current P.E. ratio. At that P.E. ratio, Tesla will be $1,900 per share in 2030. The next stock is AMD. AMD has a P.E. ratio of 191 currently. If Tesla has a P.E. ratio of 191 in 2030, it will be traded at $2,600 per share. At that price, Tesla will or will not be an expensive stock as AMD is or is not an expensive stock today. Our next popular stock is Palantir. Both Tesla and Palantir are super growth companies. They have done immensely well for their investors and will do far better in the future. Both see artificial intelligence to command their future growth. Whether you like it or not, Palantir has a P.E. ratio of 250, but its share price shows no sign of slowing down. At Palantir's P.E. ratio, Tesla's share price in 2030 will be $3,400. That is over 1,200% growth from Tesla's current price of $268 per share. It is a little bit difficult to imagine that Tesla will be a company with a $10 trillion market cap in five years. But we still should not confine our imagination to today's market conditions and the geopolitical conditions that determine the value of money today. Because we still have two more stocks to compare Tesla to. The first one of them is Datadog, which provides an observability service for cloud-scale applications. Datadog has gained 56% in the last one year. It has a P.E. ratio of 263. With that P ratio, Tesla will be a $3,600 stock in 2030, not a dollar less than that. Things are getting better and better for Tesla investors. I imagine this is the reality that Kathy Wood has been dreaming of for so many years. Our last stock on the list is the cybersecurity market leader CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike provides endpoint security, threat intelligence, and cyber attack response services. Only in 2017, CrowdStrike was a $1 billion company with an estimated annual revenue of $100 million. But today, it has a market cap of $73 billion, a 73 times growth in seven years. Not bad for its angel investors like Google. CrowdStrike has a P.E. ratio of 450, the highest on our list. At CrowdStrike's P.E. rate, Tesla will be traded at $6,200 per share in 2030. That is over 23 times of Tesla's current price. What do you think? Do you think as a company, Tesla cannot have that high a P.E. ratio? If you study the history of Tesla's P.E. ratio, you will see that it had a P.E. ratio of 1120 in December 2020. At that time, Tesla's earnings per share was 21 cents, and it was trading at $235 per share, stock split adjusted. Tesla's high P.E. ratio did not prevent its stock from the subsequent rise it had in March 2023. Of course, by that time, the P.E. ratio began to fall as Tesla's earnings began to grow. For Tesla, the sky is the limit. One product or service will open the door to another product or service. RoboTaxi is a step up from autopiloting. RoboVan is a step up from RoboTaxi. Powerwall is a step up from electric car battery. Apple had its iPhones, NVIDIA had its GPUs, 
and Tesla too can have its defining products in the future. On the other hand, the American national debt will grow higher and grow at a higher rate, money will be devalued, and your morning coffee will be more expensive. You need to invest in a growth company like Tesla just to keep up with time.